I have a cold. My desk just looks like a friggin tissue paper morgue. <sighs> Hi guys, this is Diane here from Design Creative and today I'm going to be showing you how to manage multiple WordPress sites that you have created. So if you're a bit like me where you get a bit turned on by having like a million WordPress installations all over the place, you do sort of want to manage them appropriately, right? You don't want to remember the URLs to everything, you don't want to remember the passwords and the usernames for everything. So well, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to manage multiple WordPress installations for free. Basically, in order to manage multiple WordPress installations, what you would want to do is create a completely separate new WordPress installation on a subdomain or, you know, a, a subdirectory, right? Here, I've got the designcreative.co.uk slash my shit, right? And this is where my immediate dashboard, so this is the place that where I'm going to go to, to manage all of my client sites. The reason why you should do it on a completely fresh installation is because it can muck around or the other plugins that you might install uh, that have got nothing to do with main WP might cause a conflict with main WP so it's best to kind of have it on a completely separate uh, either domain or directory than in your current site one of the first things you need to do is head over to plugins add new and you want to type in main WP and you don't see one blasted thing and the reason why you don't see anything is because main wp is one word ladies and gentlemen so what we want to do is we want to install this plugin here and what it will do once it's installed it's going to give us a new menu item on the left hand side that let's activate it so now I've activated and I've got this new menu item here called main WP, okay? So here it's giving us a warning. It's saying we highly recommend a new WordPress install for your main dashboard. See, I told you, you need to do that. Um, and just press the button here to say, I have read the warning and I do want to proceed. So this part is where you basically add your website, right? So I'm going to add this website here uh let me see i'm gonna copy the url and i'm gonna paste the site actually i'm gonna call it uh caribbean aid and i'm gonna paste that link in there and here it's gonna ask me for my username which i'm going to put in and here it's going to ask me what type of group i i can choose to dismiss this or whatever but i'm gonna put here client right clients and basically that's all you have to do on that side for now right we're not going to press save or anything we're just going to leave that there for now next i'm going to go over to caribbean aid or my website and i'm going to go to plugins add new and i'm going to add the plugin main wp child and this child uh connects to the adult and it does that by using a secret key so once we've installed this and I've activated the plugin, look, here we have main WP child. I can click here where it says settings and I'm going to press to require a unique security ID. I'm going to press to save changes. And what it will do is it will give me a unique key, which I copy. And then I bring back over to my dashboard site here and I paste my security key in here like that okay the other settings here you can use if you want to but you don't necessarily have to do that so I'm just going to add the site right you see here it's completely it's added it now so here we have Caribbean aid we have the URL we have the group it tells us it has never been backed up so I can back up my site from here and um, it's got uh, other little details here as well so let's just click on the Caribbean aid site and here you'll be given 
uh, just little information about what's going on with that particular site. You can add as many sites as you want. You're not limited to, you know, five or 10. You can add a million if you want to. And here it tells you, you know, there's no upgrades available. Um, you've got two plugins which are possibly abandoned. And what that basically means is um, the last time the developer of a particular plugin updated their plugin uh, it could have been over two years ago so that's why it says it's possibly abandoned if you have any themes or any plugins it will show here to up to upgrade and you can do that like just literally by kicking clicking a button or whatever you can also add uh, posts if you need to to that website with that without actually going into uh, the WordPress site you can also do that with pages as well you can have little notes so i can write this client is jamaican or something like that okay and here as well it shows us that we have some security issues which we can fix we can run security scans on here we can uh, back up our site as well from here um, i can call this uh, caribbean aid and it asks us if we want to do a full backup or a database backup i'm going to choose a database backup for now and i'm going to choose to back up now and depending obviously on how big the site is and how big the database is, it shouldn't really take that much time. Okay, so now we can see we have our latest backup here and I can download this to my computer without any issues at all or here it's got like little shortcuts so i can go straight into their wp admin uh page and it redirects me into their website so now i'm in their website you see that was pretty easy and i didn't have to put in a password or anything one of my favorite things about um main wp is that is their extensions to be honest there's um a particular extension that i like that allows you to um load up your favorites okay so um for instance you may start a new wordpress site for a client but you have a set you know you have set plugins that you use for every single site so you, for instance you may use headway or divi or another theme which you use on all of your sites you may have a gravity forms plugin that you use and you know just do a whole range of different plugins that you know that you use on a on a on a on a, on a daily basis so with some of their extensions there's one in particular called favorites i think here it is main wp favorites which you could order i'm not quite sure how much it costs now let me just click and see right so it's 29 dollars and basically you pick what your favorites are so my favorites is headway i like to use gravity forms i like to use soul sections i like to use blah 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 and then you can literally choose which website you're going to be working on and install everything like you know in one click without having to sit down and manually add all of the uh, uh, the plugins individually so that's one of my favorite favorite parts about using main WP they've got a whole bunch of stuff here like they've got a, a click heat map extension they've got a clone extension they have a file uploader extension so there's a whole bunch of stuff that you can get here and they usually do some really good deals they've got some free plugins as well so here we've got uh, main WP advanced uptime monitor WP clean and lock extension and they've got main WP WP Spinner, which is a plugin that allows you to basically create content and spin the article. So when you're doing SEO with Google, it looks for unique articles. And if you have an article which is written that has been replicated numerous different times on different websites, then it doesn't really see your article as being genuine. Sometimes people use spinners, which basically spins the words. Damn it, you know what that means? WP Spinner, which allows you to spin the content of your words. So it basically makes it look like it's a completely unique uh, piece of content. Um, I'm not quite sure how ethical this is, but I do see them around. And Main WP Spinner is uh, a free extension that you can download as well. And they have a WooCommerce Shortcuts extension. Ooh. 
that's a new one. So basically have a look through their extensions. Um, there are way, there are complete, so many things that you can do with this uh, plugin. Um, the free version is really, really good. This is gonna be a very brief tutorial. As you can tell, I'm not gonna go through every single option because it is so extensive. So have a look, let me know what you think about it and whether you're gonna be using it for your own sites. I, I would definitely say give it a go, you know, uh, even if it's just for your own personal sites that you might wanna manage instead of going to, you know, hundreds of different logins for different sites. This is a really, really great tool to use. And like I said, you can, um, add as many sites as you want and you can group them so you can have clients, you can have your own sites, etc., etc. Um, and it's just a great bloody tool to use. So download it, mainwp.com.